four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Being on the ship, all our birthings are named after the different regiments. It's great to actually see where they fought, where they were. Uh, the monument is dedicated to those soldiers. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation, so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. I think as a ship we have one of the best relationships with its namesake and I think we want to keep that going well into the future and us being here reinforces that we have pride in our namesake and I believe the citizens of Gettysburg know that we are proud to represent them and I believe that they are proud to represent us. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, but in the larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. So one thing that was incredibly, incredibly fascinating about us working up here, uh, clearing the brush off of Little Round Top, is uh, on this day, on a Thursday, today at 11.27 a.m. July 2nd, we, uh, 152 years ago, the 15th Alabama was about to begin its assault at the top of Little Round Top, where Union soldiers, including the 20th Maine, were defending the position. And so it's incredibly fascinating and a huge uh, morale boost, I guess you can say, to be clearing the brush right now, thinking about how soldiers would have just littered this entire hillside, marching up the hill to try and take a little round top. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. To me, namesake means to honor and commemorate. We honor and commemorate the thousands of men who gave their last full measure of devotion here and gave the ultimate sacrifice for what they believe to be right and to preserve the Union. Our ship's motto is deeds, not words, and the courageous deeds of thousands of men here ultimately is why our country still exists to this day. And I think it's very important for our sailors to know that and experience that. It is imperative that we not forget our history and always learn from our history. And us being named for the most iconic and influential battle in American history is in many ways being the ultimate namesake. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth.